deserve some hard money. I deserve some. Over there, I go by the name of David Diamond, and today you and I are going to go through the streets of Giddy, chat up, smile up, brainstorm, do a lot of chatting together. Today I won't be handling the camera, I'm going to call Inon Doom. Inon Doom is about to be with me, so I'll meet him up at the. Gonna have, you know, something to eat, and then we'll hit the road. Ta da! Guess where I'm going? But while, while we're going, we're going to do sort of a lot of talking, we're going to share ideas, we're going to understand what's happening as busy Nigerian youths that we are. And uh, they are claiming, uh, uh, you know, that Nigeria has been an oil producing country, therefore uh, they should sit and do nothing and uh, get housing, healthcare, uh, education free. <laughs> Busy Nigerian youth here. Yeah? You're gonna get work at me. Anyways, let's go. See no, you know. Only you just just come for the jump here. You know, you know, you know. You know. Maybe everybody will go school, oh my way. Maybe everybody will go. Maybe everybody know book. You know me say me happy. Money day me I can't like. Don't make me lose my mind. One more time. Give me, give me, give me like. What can you do? You need to have skills. Go learn trade. You need to go through the process. Learn skill and value. That's easy, okay? Calculating hundred thousand, do you hustle for one year? Me, yeah, I made it on one endorsement. Five point GP from the onset, so you mean you still find the employment? That be nonsense. But I'm yeah, action time. Check this book out. This is speaking about how Israel, amidst all challenges, came to stand out with limited resources, little landmass. How did they do that? They had to dive into their creative minds. They had to be very proactive. They had to engage their skill sets. They had to be smart. They had to be security conscious. Now, the problems actually that they had existing, or matter of fact, even have existing as we speak, were actually opportunities that they would build upon. We have a lot of challenges like power, transportation, housing, health, security and matter of fact if i stopped right now and walked right into the street and asked this young man hi how you feeling how you enjoying the country we deserve some accolade we deserve some accolade eh? i deserve some accolade we pay our dues eh? everywhere in the world we are global we are worldwide but then let's see the substance behind or beyond this accolade we're speaking of man in, in Nigeria, I have a lot of challenges, so let's be practical. Being practical, I mean let us solve some problems. Take your pen, take your paper, we're going to form one or two businesses right now. We're going to be very practical based on the challenges we have. Now, which sector am I going to, am I going to tackle right now? Agriculture. Yes, there are a lot of guys who want to penetrate the agricultural sector and cash out. You don't have land, you don't have so much money to invest, you don't have that patience to start to withstand long term. So how do you do that? In my opinion, I think I'll just have to adopt a model a friend of mine just adopted recently. So he was in the bank and then he resigned and what he did, he just took some funds, he goes to where you have the fish farms. So he now buys off a few fishes, right, and then smokes it. Package that smoked fish in such a way that it is presentable and it is consumable and it's nice. He's now focusing on just a single product, fish. So he buys the fresh fish, he doesn't kill it, he doesn't have the land and to do all these things. All he just does is he buys it off, he smokes it such that it's so good and then you want to buy from him. And then he has a brand. And by the brand I mean he has his identity, he has his logo, he has his social media presence, Instagram, Facebook, etc, etc. So he has a good face. 
You understand? So that's what I'm trying to say. So you can also do that as well. Let's think about transportation. Right now, I'm sitting in a wonderful car driven by a wonderful young man I call Ola. I'm just named for the first time. So anyways, the model I'm trying to say is before now, you would have to argue with a lot of cab guys. Hey, who this man's guy, man? Ka? Yeah, what you mean? You so? That's my girlfriend. What you mean? Go and sit down. Whoa, I buy one Come on. And uh, actually, moving from place to place was very frustrating. And you know how 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 oh, how tiring this is. So you have solutions like Taxify, Uber, or Gat Taxi think about solutions that help us solve this problem so they have an operating system in the form of an app where as a client or a customer I place my order and then I'm linked to the guy who is very close by and then via that app and via the technology we meet and then I don't have to stand in the sun and then quarrel and fight with somebody one at Beru and we do some shaku shaku and then I'm traveling easily smoothly and then I'm happy and I pay and everything is fine you see and new technology obviously can find ways to do things um, within an existing rule set and so the first time in 30 years in New York request a taxi without going to the street the problem was hectic transportation headache transacting with drivers and the rest of them so with this solution you see now that the problem is solved on your door, opportunity to knock, go to waste of time, take back the club. Kakakaka, I get back when them traffic you wanna tap, no, the waste of time, we accomplish that task. Father, help me every day, me I pray. Next thing you put me on the field, make I play. No, we want some money, get some bets of money, hustling right now. This one is day for a bullion funny, yo, yo, yo. So when you think in this light, think about the problems you have. Power sector is a very big opportunity. Not a problem, it's a big opportunity. I understand that the government has to do a lot of things, yeah? Now I run a startup I call Solar Space, and Solar Space is leveraging technology solutions to solve our power problem. So we have products like inverters, solar panels, charge controllers, etc. A lot of solar solutions. The essence is for the fact that we have people suffering so much by buying generators and spending so much on fuel and then waiting for temper, power holding, you know, to bring the light and then there's no light and then you're managing and then you're suffering and then your operation cost is rising. So I have to cash in. I'm now bringing in branded solar products. You can see that my inverters will convert the alternating currents to bring it, saw it in the battery and then it's now direct current and then it brings it out and then supplies it as an alternating current. So you can see that the actual principle going behind the technology. But what you should understand is that we're solving that power problem. So in the power sector, while we're complaining, somebody is sitting back and then devising how can I get a solution out. Maybe you can be thinking about how we can wirelessly transfer electricity. I hear from a lot of youths, the lazy Nigerian youths like me. <laughs> so these youths are like, David Diamond, I have an idea that I want to bring off the ground and matter of fact, I don't have money. There is no finance, there's no source of funding. And I'm like, this is the same complaint we have all over the world. But think about people like Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Jason Njoku, the founder of um, Heroku TV, Mark Essien, Hotels.ng, name them, just think about these guys. Do you think the ideas were able to come off the ground thinking like you are thinking? I'm not saying you're thinking in a bad way, but you need some more understanding and knowledge. Finance and funding should be part of your plan. Make sure you have things rolling already. Example, if you walk, to, you walk up to John Jazzy and say, Baba, help me, oh, I want to drop my, uh, my single, my album. I get talent. If I just freestyle, let me give you a little freestyle. Freestyle while I move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a little freestyle. I'm trying to make you, you know, just have some fun. So like I said, he'll be like, what tangible thing do you have to offer as we speak? Something has to has to be ready, you know? Maybe a recorded song, something that he can work with, which for the most part, a lot of people do not have. And that is where the challenge lies. So what I'm trying to say is, on your own part, draft out your plan adequately. Plan 
up to the point that you are also including financing as part of your plan how you're going to get funds and how you're going to distribute this fund evenly if you see programs like shark tank you're going to see how how entrepreneurs pitch go to dragon's den online youtube is there do your research get as much understanding as possible the thing is you need to understand how to get investment. your ideas and your mindset out there Duncan so what i'm trying Ballantyne. to say is Factor in how you're going to get finance. You have a lot of exactly angel investors, you have seed funds, you have VCs, venture capitalists who are actually there out there no to help you. So what you need market. to understand yeah. is how you can pitch your no idea and convince people to invest in you. So as much as you have these challenges and you have these ideas, these solutions to these challenges, yeah? You also have to think like a smart businessman. People like Jason Joku, people like uh, Mark Essien, before they could get funding, they were able to articulate and pitch their ideas. They had a business plan or model, you know, a business model, how your business is going to, you know, operate like an operating system, yeah? And then how you're going to get funding and how you're going to spend the funds you get and how you're going to be profitable in certain amount of years and how you're going to get a return on investment. You see, you understand what I'm trying to say? Understand your numbers, understand your financials. So that's what I'm trying to, I'm going, I'm going to advise right now. Whichever sector you want to invest in, let's say fashion based, if you go to places like Abba, Ikode Pene and the rest of them, a lot of skills, a lot of guys who actually have products, you know, crafts. And this, this to me, men are so fascinated that I'm like, I need these things like this. I need, I need this outside, I need the world to see these talents. And then maybe you have these ideas. You could partner with one of them, build a brand around that product. If you don't have money, right these days, matter of fact, things are so easy that you could invest very little to get, you know, to start making something. So just um, look for products, look for things around you, solutions around you. Actually, everything you need is around you. There's some, see, everything you need right down in your body, look around, see, see my book. See my phone, yeah? It's my glass. This is me, David Diamond. In your face, take a face. I run the race. Look my face. James Halle Cheese. Freestyling while I'm doing my vlogging. I'm so happy today, like I said, make sure you utilize and leverage what you have around you to make the most out of your life. You are blessed, you are awesome, you are wonderful. I've talked about a lot of opportunities, talked about a lot of problems, and then we'll be thinking about more solutions and we're going to be chatting, like I said. Use what you have to get what you want. I'll give you stories. Bing.